direction. I mean, what does it gain you to kill one another? I mean, you should grow up. When you do things like this, you have, you shorten your life. If you hurt someone or you kill someone, you go to prison for the rest of your life. And, you, and the person that's dead, their lives are over. And God put you on this earth for a reason. He put you on this earth to to give back to the earth and to love one another and to do things that are right. Um, okay, her husband is known in the gates when he sit among the elders of the land. She may find linen and sells it and deliver girdles unto the merchant. You see, so not only is she making garment for her family, um, she's also making garment to sell for to the merchant for more goods for her household, okay? Um, so she's finding all this time to do all this and we complain a little stuff we do, okay? She, um, <clears throat> strength and honor are her clothing and she will rejoice in time to come. She opened her mouth with wisdom and her, in her tongue is the law of kindness. She opened her mouth with wisdom and in her mouth is the law of kindness. So many young women today are cursing like the curse words are going out of style and they got to get them before they go out of style. You're cursing out your family. You're cursing out your parents. The words coming out your mouth are so ugly. And you don't even realize it. And you think it's cute. But the words are so ugly coming out your mouth. They really are. They really are ugly. And you should wash the words out of your mouth. Because it doesn't look good as a woman. And you wonder why you can't find a husband. With that dirty, filthy mouth. You wonder why you can't find a husband. Okay. We will continue to keep going. Because as I keep going, I'm starting to feel a little personal on some things. That uh, the family wants. But okay. We're going to keep going. Because God has given me this to share with you guys. And um, I'm just going. As he tells me to go. Um. Okay, she opened her mouth with wisdom, and in her tongue is the law of kindness. The law of kindness. Oh, God. They, they curse you out. She looked well to the ways of her household, and eateth not the bread of idleness. She looked well to the ways of her household, and eateth not the bread of idleness. Cook. You know. Cook. Uh, stop running out here getting fast food all the time. I mean, you take care of your family because even if you don't, excuse me, Lord, for burping, take care of your family, take care of your children because even if you don't have a husband, you need to feed your children. And them eating fast food all the time is, is tearing up their insides and it's killing them. Those french fries, you wonder why your child has high blood pressure. No child at 12, 13 years old should have migraines. If they're having migraines and they're not going out, they're eating fast, fast food every day. They're eating french fries every day. You don't cook. You don't clean. You don't cook. Okay, let me, but you don't, you don't cook. And so your kids are not eating. You cannot keep giving them fast food every day. You cannot keep just packing fast food all in them. Uh, and you never cook. You never cook. And it does something to them. And you ain't wonder why your child is sick later on. Okay. Okay. And there is a difference between fast food and home cooked food. So stop saying that all food is the same. No, it's not. Okay. That's something else. Because I do have food cooking that I will discuss in another um, thing. Okay. Um. 
Okay, she looked well to the waves of her house. I would eat out the bread of idleness. Her children arise up and call her blessed. Her husband also, and he praises her. Your children should be rising up, call, uh, uh, calling your, your mother blessed. You know, there may be some things that have happened. You know, as I say, we all come up and we all make mistakes. But you should not be cursing your mother. You should not be cursing your parents. You should not be cursing your father. You know, and then you wonder why things are going wrong in your life. You wonder why your whole life is torn upside down. You wonder why things are not going right. You just can't get it to go right. Everything is just messing up in your life. You curse your parents. You curse your parents. You curse your parents. You curse your mother. You curse your father. And you wish bad things. Okay? So, you know, I'm praying for those of you to get it right with your family. Please get it right with your family. You know, um, there are no good coming out of you cursing your family. Uh, parents, okay? Your children cannot rise up and call you blessed or your husband if you are out here in the street acting gangster. If you're out here in the street, I'm sorry, there's a tag on my uh, dress about my leg and I was just trying to pull it up. But if you're out here in the street acting gangster, uh, what makes you think that you, you're, uh, you're going to get any respect from your children or your husband or the person you would, would you say, or your husband, you know, he's going to disrespect you with other women because, um, you are, uh, out here in the streets, not carrying yourself as a woman, but being very gangster, okay, and, um, he doesn't want that. Uh, your children are everywhere. And they can't call you blessed because you have them everywhere. Many children have done virtually but thou, thou accepts them all. Many daughters have done virtually but thou accepts them all. Favor is deceitful and beauty is vain. But a woman that fear the Lord, she will be be praised. Favor is deceitful and beauty is vain, but a woman that fears the Lord, she will be praised. And this is something that I really want to talk about because I see so many young women up in the mirror. I'm cute. Where is your knowledge? Now, I will say something. You know, back in the day, I modeled. I do the I was in vain. Okay. You know, I knew I had the looks and I modeled, but I wasn't vain. And I'm going to tell you what vain is. Vain is when you get up every day and look in your phone. I'm cute. But there's nothing else going on in your life all day, but. I'm cute. Where's your knowledge? Where's your wisdom? You're not going to go far anywhere in life with that. You think it's about your looks? You think it's about your body? All this fade away. All this fade away. But the woman that fears the Lord, those women, that's the one. She will be praised. You're not going to be praised because of your beauty, your body, and your big booty, and your ass cheeks, and all of that and the makeup and the false lashes and the false hair and, and all that, you know. You're not going to be praised for that. You're so in vain that you're not going to be praised for that. God said the woman who fears the Lord, she shall be praised. She shall be praised. I sin every day, but I fear the Lord. I feel the Lord. And the reason why I say I sin every day, not that I deliberately try to sin every day, but somewhere along the way, I don't know. Maybe I had a bad thought. Maybe it wasn't a right thought, you know. So, 
But I still fear the Lord, and I get up every day, and I praise the Lord, and I talk to the Lord, because I know that what the Lord 